basmati rice and the same bowl we take measurement of half uh, chana dal which is rich in proteins then we have bay leaves jeera sabar jeera a pinch of garam masala and dry pudina few cloves three to four dalchini sticks few so you can see this is all at home you can find these things and then we have uh, chopped tomatoes uh, one medium size and one medium size chopped um, onions and one inch grated um, adrak and two slit green chilies to save time i have already soaked the rice and the dal this is a very important part the soaking of the rice and the dal is very important otherwise we become khichdi so we are not making khichdi we are making a pulao so at least for an hour we must soak the uh, the dal and uh, Rice you can soak even even for half an hour it will be fine. So now let me start the recipe. Taken a cooker and I've taken three tablespoons of uh, asli ghee. And I'm going to light the gas and let it um, get a bit hot. This uh, ghee now it's hot. So I'm adding the page patta and three to four long. And this is um, one teaspoon of jeera, sabar jeera and cinnamon sticks. Now this is uh, done. You know this is crackling. So I'm adding the Chopped onions. So you can add a little also in this, but it is so hot right now that you know you should uh, not add too much of uh, garam masala at the end. According to the season, also we make this. And you can also add if you want um, garlic. If you if you are fond of that garlic flavor, you can also add chopped garlic okay. after this uh, onions are chopped. Now let this onions be pink and translucent. Can you all see the onions? They are pink. So now I'm adding this um, ginger, grated ginger. This is one inch grated ginger, and two slit green chilies. Now I'm going to sauté it till the raw smell of the ginger goes. You know, the raw smell is gone. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. Now the tomatoes have become mushy. I'm going to add all the dry spices. I'm adding uh, quarter of this uh, haldi powder, quarter teaspoon. I'm adding. Uh, since I've added green chilies, I'm going to add less of uh, red chilli chilli powder. powder. Dhania powder, I'm adding one teaspoon. Uh, sorry, uh, one. Uh, yeah, one teaspoon dhania powder. Salt you have already added. Yeah, salt I have added. I'll just add a little bit more. Normally, we add one is to two the ratio when we make rice. So mm -hmm. here it is the same ratio, just a little bit more of water because the dal is there. So may maybe a quarter of uh, you know of this bowl. Before I added this, I just you know mix the dal properly with the masala. Now after putting the rice, we have to be very careful because it is soap should not break. Now before I mix this gently, I'm going to add a bit of uh, sukha pudina. Little I'm adding now, little I will add after the and this is just a pinch of garam masala. And I'll just give it a gentle stir. Be careful that the rice doesn't crack. You know, just to get the flavor evenly spread. And now I'm going to cover it up. Nice. Yeah, very delicious, Lina. So let us do my main ingredient that is dal in this recipe. You could use uh, chana, green chana, black chana, soya bean, also mangori you can use, and they all have to be boiled. Except, uh, and if you are using mangori, you will have to sauté it, and then you have to boil it. And these are all replacements. So that this is not a khichdi; it becomes a pulao. The first and uh, very important thing is that uh, you must soak the dal. This is what many people forget to do. So if the dal is not soaked properly, it will become khichdi. You know, it will not cook only. The, the recipe will not be proper. So at least uh, it should be soaked for an hour or so. And the second thing you have to be very careful is that it should not be. Uh, if you are cooking it in the pressure cooker, then it should not be more than one vessel. And the third thing, which is very important, is the quantity of water which you uh, use for the recipe. Like you are using one is to two. As in all uh, rice recipes, but here you take one is to two, and slightly more, uh, like you know, a quarter of more of water, so that um, 
the chana or the dal or whatever you are using you know it is uh, not absolutely dry so that is very important in this uh, recipe uh, the secret of this recipe would be uh, that when you uh, just before you are uh, you are closing the pressure cooker you need to add a pinch of garam masala and this uh, pudina and just give it a slight stir so that you know it blends uh, the flavor blends in properly Thank you.